Hey everybody, welcome to this video in the Windows Monitoring Series. Today we're going to cover monitoring windows with SNMP. So, why would you use SNMP to monitor your windows? Well, for one thing, what's great about it is that you don't have to install an agent. SNMP only has to be enabled on your Windows device. So, uh, I know a lot of our clients, they have a hard time getting software that they put on a Windows machine, getting that approved and vetted and through the process. This way, you don't have to worry about getting an agent approved within your environment, you can just turn on SNMP. Um, the SNMP wizard in Nagios XI does discovery. So if you've got servers with different numbers of drives, different drive letters, and different configurations, it will discover it, and you don't have to manually add that in when you're doing the wizard or setting up the configuration. And finally, Microsoft made the SNMP fairly simple, and I think it's easier than Linux SNMP, personally. So with that in mind, let's take a look at how the wizard works, and let's get something monitored using SNMP on Windows. All right, so here we are, we're in the interface, we're on the Configuration Wizards page, and I'm gonna click on Windows SNMP. We're in step one of the wizard. The IP address of the thing that we're gonna monitor is right there, and the operating system is Windows 7. We're gonna use SNMP version 2C, and we're gonna to need to know the community string. So here's the community string, so that this is so that Nagios can contact the device and do the initial walk of the device and also to regularly pull it. So we gotta get that in place. So that's step one. It's critical at this point to remind you that SNMP needs to be enabled on the devices that you would monitor with SNMP. So in a Windows environment, the way that we can make sure of that, you can go to turn Windows features on or off, uh, SNMP right here, you can toggle it on, you can toggle it off. That's how you enable it, and then you can hit OK. Um, and then if you want to see more about the information that's in there, you can call up services, and then you can double click the service, and you're going to get all the information that you're going to need. It's a nice interface. Um, you can go here, security, it's going to list your community string. You could add community strings, you can edit it, you could do all that other sort of stuff. So that's how you can just make sure that the device you're monitoring is gonna work well. It's gonna accept the SNMP poll from XI. So that's our quick Windows primer there. So we hit the button and now Nagios XI reached out to that workstation and it ran through the whole MIB tree. So it figured out everything that's running on there. Um, so here's the host name, and from here we're going to monitor ping, CPU, physical memory, virtual memory, disk usage. Here's what's cool about SNMP. It discovers that I've got a C drive and a D drive on this. With uh, like the NS client agent, it only supplies C. So if you didn't know that a particular machine had additional drives, you would miss those with that agent usage. Um, here's the other cool stuff is that it also found a list of everything that is running on that. So I'm gonna monitor Carbonite because it's an important part of our internal process here. And then um, it also sees every process that's running. So, you know, if, uh, if this is your SQL server, then it's gonna be important for you to know whether that is up or down. If the, if the SQL server process is down, your app's not running, your users aren't happy. We know that much for sure. So um, you can do, you know, uh, groups of these and you can add selected all at once. That's a great way to go. You can add rows, you can delete rows. This is really how simple it is. This is why I love SNMP for Windows. And then we just hit next. We are in our standard configurations for that. We hit finish and we're good to go. There you go. That's all it takes to monitor Windows with SNMP. Stay tuned for more videos on Windows monitoring.